Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Dr. Sabi Ahmed and uh, people have been email me, emailing me a lot to tell them about coronavirus and uh, recently my cousin also asked me how to be prevented so I want to tell you about uh, coronavirus okay so coronavirus is a family of viruses a large family of viruses uh, which basically the most uh, renowned of those family are three viruses first is the SARS virus which affected the world in 2003 second is the MERS M -E -R -S, virus that affected the uh, uh, world in 2012 now the coronavirus which is currently causing the disease is known as SARS-CoV-2 okay the first one was SARS-CoV only okay or the second name is COVID-19 what's the official name of it okay so this virus mainly affects the uh, mammals and birds okay and uh, this is a positive stranded RNA virus with a nucleocapsid okay and uh, as I told you the main targets are the mammals and the birds they cause symptoms of respiratory tract infections and second is the uh, uh, digestive tract infection in some uh, animals like cows and pigs okay so they in that they got diarrhea okay so number second point is uh, I have told about the morphology. Second is what is the what are the symptoms of you getting infections? Okay, so the respiratory symptoms of this of this disease are like uh, running nose, okay, sore throat, okay, and uh, flu-like symptoms, dryness of the throat, and then it leads to pneumonia. And uh, digestive system, which co it is causing in cow and pigs, are uh, diarrhea, basically. The, but that's not important, okay? And uh, so basically, it causes the main symptom you must be concerned about is the uh, running nose, dryness of the throat, and pneumonia-like symptoms, okay? And uh, then comes the how to uh, test this out okay so as it is a virus we can test it out with the help of uh, there's a kit method to test it out okay and uh, then uh, there are some clues like uh, at the airports they are using fever guns okay they pick up the fever of the um, person or the traveler okay if he has a fever they put him on uh, they put uh, him under quarantine or just test him for uh, the COVID-19 virus okay and uh, uh, second test is like a PCR of the RNA virus but that takes a long time and now comes the interesting moment okay the CDC have recommended a simple test for it okay CDC has recommended that you should inspire and like ins take inhale for the fullest of your uh, lungs okay inhale like this and hold it for 12 to 12 10 to 12 seconds if you feel any pain in the chest area then you should immediately contact a doctor as it causes an as this virus causes pneumonia like symptoms but if you know don't feel any pain there is nothing to worry about okay uh, next i will uh, tell you about the transmission okay so this virus is transmitted with contact and through air droplets okay and it ranges about six feet and that's a very long range okay so the, so the gatherings are being cancelled out in the world because of that because six feet is a big range for a virus 
and its multiplication time it's some studies have been shown that the multiplication time of this virus is in seconds okay <laughs> okay and some says that uh, its multiplication times is in like minutes so it replicates very quickly and uh, you don't know <laughs> you don't want to know that how it replicates but it actually takes it has a protein uh, in spike protein and it attaches to the uh, ace 2 cells which is angiotensin converting enzyme 2 host receptor uh, receptor on the cells and through it the spike protein is uh, an endo cytosis occurs and it goes in okay now the most important part of this video okay what are the preventions okay so the preventions of this disease are simple okay first and the most first is most important infection is wear a mask not any mask just SA95 okay or oh sorry SA95 mask okay any 95 mask is effective in preventing this virus spread okay second prevention is wash your hands with uh, soap for at least 20 seconds at least 20 seconds okay third prevention is keep a sanitizer in your uh, pocket that contains at least 60 percent of alcohol okay and if you are going to uh, sterilize a place use a 70 percent alcohol solution to sterilize that place okay now these are the three preventions then the fourth preventions okay um, the the life of this virus before it becomes inactive if you shake a hand with somebody it becomes the virus becomes inactive uh, in your hands and i will tell you the reason after uh, some seconds okay uh, the second is the la half the life of this virus in on your clothes is like nine hours and the life of this virus on the door knobs is like 20 seconds okay so uh, first I told you to wear an N95 mask if you are in a public gathering second use a sanitizer third you have to contact the people as less as possible okay third uh, fourth is the wash your hands with soap at least for 20 seconds okay frequently okay and uh, uh, the next thing is very interesting about this virus that's that studies have been showing that this virus cannot live uh, is inactivated at the temperature of about 27 or 28 degrees centigrade okay so that's why the african areas and the south asian areas are getting less infected because it isn't uh, the temperature here is uh, about almost about these days in Pakistan it is about 26 degrees to 27 degrees centigrade so, so the virus is not that badly affecting these areas okay but this is all just in the initial stages the question arises like why the Saudi Arabia has a greater temperature but the cases are a lot Iran has a lot of cases Australia has a lot of cases okay so but the CDC has told that the virus has becomes inactivated at 27 to 28 degrees centigrade okay now for the ongoing speculations China has caused it called it a uh, bio warfare because they are asking that where is the zero patient the patient zero is like the first case of this virus okay so this virus is basically spread from cattle camels cats and bats okay so the what reports are showing are that the transfer of this virus from was from bats but China couldn't find the patient one patient one is the first person that's been that got the infection so no study has shown the patient one okay and even the US is not does not have a patient one so speculations are that 
it may be a bio warfare bio warfare is uh, something i have a video made on on this so you should see that video okay okay so i want the world to be safe okay so i just want this uh, the people to be healthy so i will repeat the prevention one more time first is to wear a mask known as N95 okay second is to wash your hands with the sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol third is to wash your hands with soap uh, like uh, uh, for 20 seconds and fourth is to keep away from public gatherings okay and uh, lastly i want to talk about the mortality the mortality rate of this virus is about two percent and the mortality is usually the one kill, getting killed are usually the ones with low immunity like the ch children and the older people the older people especially the diabetic patients the patients with uh, lung disease and the patients with low immunity they are getting killed hope this video helps you and uh, i wish this world the best and being a muslim we should pray that allah helps us and just forgive us forgive us for what we have done this world assalamu alaikum hope this video has helped you